Must be sick. Yeah, they're not supposed to be in here. It's just, how long do you want to keep her? That like, can spread like wildfire. Oh God, that's me. Little Claire was one of the first horses we saw at the auction we attended in December, and it was very obvious that she needed our help. just to see where the internal structure is because we've got there you go. I mean we've got absolutely no heel and it's all kind of sloughed forward if I can get her to hold still oh oh just just calm down calm down that doesn't even really look like a hoof it's just kind of a it looks yeah. like the sole of a shoe yeah it's just kind of oh, a wood shoe nothing it's just like a wooden dutch clog boy those are something for only that young a horse wow that's really something she's so mad with me <laughs> she'd like to get away from us but your sure, feet hurt too much and you got a heck of a cough oh, no, baby. Oh, maybe you won't let me take your temperature huh <laughs> she must be sick <laughs> she's not even trying to get away from me which made her feet hurt so bad she can't. Yeah. Well, she's up to 103 yeah, already. Well, that's a pretty good fever, little horse. 103 and a half. Yeah, not quite as bad. 102, but it's still high. Okay. Yep, you're coughing too, aren't you? That's maybe the reason you guys will let me take your temperatures. <laughs> well, no, no feel so hot, so I'll say, I can put up with that. <laughs> wow. Holy He's 103.6, and it just jumped right up to there, right when I stuck it in him. <laughs> it's only been in him for, <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess we're going to have to go. Actually, his is worse lungs. Yeah, but they're already running fevers already. Usually it's Jeez. primary, then it's two weeks until it's secondary. <laughs> Let's see, your lymph nodes, I think we're okay, but I'm going to feel them again just to be sure. No, lymph nodes are good, so at least it's not acting like strangles, if it is. They're not having a snotty nasal discharge or anything, but they're all running pretty good, decent fevers. Oh, well, yeah, the highest fever, actually. <laughs> okay. I'm a mule. I'm tough. Not that tough. Hey, Cindy, um, Jim just called. 
he'd like to come out and do a nasal swab on both Stout and Claire. He was thinking about it last night with their fevers being so high yesterday, and he wants to make sure it isn't some kind of virus that would spread. He's thinking like equine influenza that like can spread like wildfire. Daphne's feet have been an issue since the day she arrived over a year ago. We have been working hard trying to fix them all this time. So the ball of undergrowth, all the soul, it's formed into a ball, basically. It's like rounded. So that is equivalent to us putting a like a tennis ball on the arch of our foot and then trying to walk with that. So that's kind of between that, the condition she was in prior has I mean, if she's fixable, it's just how long do you want to keep her kind of a thing, you know? What do you mean? Like, it'll take a year to a year and a half before she's sound. You think it's fixable and she's not like this? Yeah, it's, I mean, I've seen worse. Pain, like, I mean, we just got to do it in uh, chapters. Change of call. Um, the results are in on the uh, viral test that he did and it is equine influenza. Oh, yeah. Um, the good kind of good news is, is that it's, um, the little ones are through their, their incubation periods, so they're no longer contagious. Okay. So we just have to watch the other ones that are in quarantine right now. And obviously keep an eye on these guys, but at least everyone over here is vaccinated. So right. They, right. Sh they should be fine. Yeah. yeah. Good deal. Good, good deal. thing we vaccinated them all. Yeah. Okay, no, it's still doing it. <laughs> Blue, I am your <laughs> Every winter we run hundreds and hundreds of feet of extension cords out to the dozen or so water tanks we have here at the refuge. Often we wake up and a tank is frozen. We don't know if the tank heater is bad, if the extension cords are bad. They're frozen in the snow. Has the outlet tripped? Has the breaker tripped? We spend hours troubleshooting the problem. Meanwhile, the horses don't have water and we need to get them water. This year, Nate and I got proactive and did some trenching. So today we are officially underway planning for winter. Well, throw the thing on the fence and go to that tank and then over to those two. Fitting that there's a winter sled.
better. right on the pad. I can show you. It's like a start of an abscess too if we don't stay on top of it. We could probably treat it and wrap it too after we get this foot balanced. Right there. See how this is all soft? She's got a very soft spot under there too. Same over here. You can push That's with your, soft. you push with your, um, just any finger. You're gonna feel how soft it is. I would say we wrap it. It's not like she's gonna bleed out, but for peace of mind. Um, but see how we've got. Uh, we've already got that toe shortened up. We put. I'm gonna put her on the stand and get that toe brought back. Okay, so we've got the foot brought back. Okay, now I need you to cooperate with me. I would say next time, um, shoes, if you're okay with that. Yeah, the hoof wall is enough to support a shoe. Um, nope, that lamina was so stretched we couldn't. The angle of that is about as good as we're gonna get for now. We do too much. You're gonna cause too much internal strain on the foot um, with how much rotation there is downward, but she's so far back on her heel. She had a lot of heel, which is fine to have a horse healed up, but when the rotation is that much forward, that is a way to make them go like this. Um, heel is back to where most people would not like it, but you don't have much of a choice bring the toe back. If you compensate the toe with the heel, you're fine. That's why her toe is all the way back. We get that to grow. Next time around, we'll probably put shoes on with quarter clips because there's so much rotation inside that here. She's gonna re be retraining herself how to use her heel, but put impact down on her toe. So now the fun part is retraining how the foot to grow and her how to walk which will take time, but 
I've seen worse. That's the best her feet have looked in a while. Yeah. She's going to be sore, but it's one of the things that's got to get better or worse before it gets better. But I think we put shoes on. It's going to be a... Yeah, she's already trying to figure out why is that not... <laughs> she's all done? She's all done. than the inside. It's even displaced a little bit. I don't know about the tip of that coffin bone either. It's looking kind of kind of chewed up in there. I think it might be having a little issue, but look how much that's that's almost perpendicular to the ground, even, even at that angle. It's almost a 90 degree angle. This one's a little better situation, huh? Yeah, this isn't as bad. I can't even tell where a coronary band is on this one. I think it's right there. That one's tip two. I mean, it's, it's rotated. Oh, yeah. So that's all modeled out there. Mm -hmm. But you can see a little bit of this is going on here. It's not the best, but you can see this one on the inside. That one's starting to get crushed because mm -hmm. she's been walking on the inside of that joint for so long makes you question if that can, I don't know how to get ever fix that up. Of course, she's already crushed those coffin bones. The other one was even worse, looks like it. Yeah, because you got a hook from here on out. Yeah. So that's already in the middle of the short pasture. That's, ooh, not good. It is December 15th, about 8 o'clock in the morning now. That's what we're dealing with. Plus we have no power to go back in here. We haven't for quite some time. It's pretty chilly in the house. Not too bad in the shop right now. Mm, doggies. Oh yeah, we got nothing. I'm not sure. How is the radio playing? Oh, he's got his battery powered one going over there. Okay. I don't know what that beeping is. I keep hoping it's the power trying to come back on. Anyway. So back out here. Nate's been plowing for a while. Get a hold of Excel. Uh, they have no idea when the power will be back on, so whatever. Back to work. So here is my car that just yesterday took uh, Claire to the clinic for her x rays. It's not going anywhere right now. Gotta get that trailer on that. But yeah, branches are hanging way down. This is really this is a really, really heavy, wet snow. Somebody's got plowed out at the barn here. Should be enough parking for everyone today. Let's see. 
I ain't shoveling all that, Nate. Hopefully you bring the skid steer over or something. It's all already falling off the roof. Some untouched snow. Kind of fun. Shed's kind of buried. See how the ponies are doing. Darkness. It's. It looks light on in the camera. Good morning. Um, I wish it was actually this light. It's not. I'll have to open the overhead doors. Twenty-four hours later. Thanks, computer. Prove me a liar. Computer. Stuck on the fence. Mr. Man, yeah, you are staying in until you go home on Friday. How's your day been going so far? Oh, great. <laughs> we need a show like Say Yes to the Dress. Say of course to the horse. There you go. There you go. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I said of course to the horse. <laughs> we said of course to the horse. Of course to the horse. <laughs> I said of course to the horse. 
We said, we of, said of course to, to the, the horse. horse. I said of course is to the horses. <laughs> got the shoe on as good as it can be for the structure of her foot we've at least got the foot in line with everything finally oh my god it actually looks like a foot so i think shoes were the way to go oh you're fine you're almost done honey come over here You can do it. You can do it, hon. Come on. Good girl. Look at you. Look. How's that feel? Kind of weird? Look at how good you're walking. Look at you. Wow, I wasn't expecting progress that fast, but that's good. Not a frozen tank yet. Right, Pippin? Not a frozen tank yet. What the hell is yeah. wrong with people? People suck. Honest to God. That's right. Sadly, there is nothing we are going to be able to do to help Claire. Her feet are too far gone. Yeah. 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 Our worry now is for Stout. He gets very upset when Claire is gone. This is going to be very hard on him. Coming up next week on Horse Rescue Tales from the Tundra. Do they lead and stuff? Like, are they handleable? I believe. I, I really don't know.